Hey guys, Shona here from Team Happy. I'm with Hoss. So, our anticipated cop career mode is here! Yay! Woo! Woo! I put a video about a day ago, I think it was. Yep. Um, asking for your feedback on which team to be, and guess what? We got fuck all back. No, no comments at all, which is probably expected because we only had about 30 odd views, something like that. Yeah, no one even knows we exist. Currently. Not really. So basically, we decided how we're going to do this. Instead of pick our own team, we're going to use a random number generator to pick our team for us. Which will be very fun. And it'll be interesting to see what we get. <laughs> and very random. Because hence why I said random number generator. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, it should be awesome. It should be awesome fun for us and for you lot. So anyway, it's team selection. We've decided to stay in England. Yeah, but we're not going to use the Premier League because we did a test run and we got Man City. Yeah. And that is not a team we want to be, to be honest. No, because they are one of the best teams in the world yeah. and there's no progression or real fun of being Man City. Yeah. So the other English leagues are to be chosen from obviously Championship League 1 and League 2. So it's three, 1 to 3. And we're number 2, so we start in League 1. League 1, yeah, that's a good shout. It's a good yeah. shout. And there's obviously 24 teams in League 1. So that's 1 to 24. So the team for this anticipated cup career mode. It's so anticipation. It's just, it's just oh, too much for me. Just can't, <laughs> I can't take it. I know. It's just emotional. It's just, uh, cry. Yeah. It's just true hug. No. Ah. We are team number 14. Which is... That was a good start. <laughs> Fail. Dot, dot, dot. 9, 10, 11, Jerome 12, 13, 14. Oldham Athletic. Which is not Ooh. a bad shout. That's, not, that's a pretty good selection, to be honest. Got wow. Some fairly good players in there. I'm sure Jose Baxter plays for him. Wow. Well, Matt Darbyshire plays him for, him for a start. Yeah, yeah. He's with pretty... Blackburn and Olympia Arcos. He's a pretty good player. So there we go. There's our cup career mode. We are doing one with Oldham Athletic. Oh my god, we have a guy called Furman. <laughs> he is a furry man. Furman? <laughs> or Barra. I don't know many. I think it's Lee Croft, Jonathan Grounds. That's Vesta Mavoto from Sunderland. That's really fucking... Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah, Dean Boozanitz. Bo he's from Brighton. I'm sure he's played Brighton. Boozanitz. And that's Christian Ooh. Montano from Northampton. Boozanitz. It's West Lasky. He's played for Ipswich. Yeah, oh. so we do know a lot of the players, to be honest. Our, our football knowledge is pretty good, so, you know. It, it, yeah, <laughs> it does get stretched sometimes, but, yeah, but we are generally In general, good. we are pretty good, so we'll put them... I don't know why I'm putting this in, but you never know. Oldham could be in the Champions League. Well, no, they can't this season because we're in League One. No, not this season, but the next couple of seasons. Um, right, test your knowledge. What's Oldham's ground? I think it's Boundary Park. I'm going to put Boundary Park. If it's wrong, then people will laugh at me and put the comments below and go, oh my God, what a bell end. No offence, mate. I couldn't give a shit with this. So, is. yeah, well, I haven't Googled it, so this is your guess. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, then... Google well, we've renamed the stadium, then, haven't we? Yeah, we can. We should um, call it Team Happy Park, really, shouldn't we? Yeah, really. Basically, we play more class because legendary is too hard. Yeah, especially on co-op. On co-op is difficult. Is, it's difficult. It's just ridiculous. And we're using current customised squads. We're not cheating. The main reason we do it is for one reason only. Free agents. Free agents. Basically, if no one knows, when you start a career mode, all the players that are in another country who are playing for a team not on the game... They all get allocated to a random team. E.g., yeah, Didier Drogba, Raul Morales, Mehmet Topal, you know, all these players yeah, who are they, playing. They all get randomly allocated to random teams. It's yeah. stupid. So you'll have Drogba playing for Fulham, I've had him playing for Leverkusen, I've had Dirk Cout is one of them as well. But anyway, that's why we choose that anyway. Why the fuck FIFA put that into the game? I do yeah, not I don't know. know. That's one bad thing about FIFA anyway. But yeah. if you didn't know that, that's what happens to him, and that's why Rob was playing for some random team. Now you know. Now you know. And we know as well, which is why we get pissed off with Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So now we're now choosing a suit colour. Wait, wait, suit? I thought I thought we were going to go in a Unfortunately, bikini? yeah, EA have not given us many more options apart from shirt and tie, tracksuit and suit. Has it got a birthday suit? There's no birthday suit, there's no mankini. So you can't make your guy naked? And there's no pink tuxedo. That's just not right. Really, EA, yeah. next year, better customise options, please. We want Mankini. We want our manager in a Mankini. I want my, I want my guy to look like Patrick Stewart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a stocky Patrick Stewart. That's what I want to see. You could do that. That's fine. You want a, you want a stocky Patrick Stewart as well. You can't even pick his hair colour. You, you, can't can't you can't even pick his face. You can't do anything. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure that'll be in FIFA 15 or whatever. 15, 16, 21, probably. probably. Yeah. 2097 or something. <laughs> when I actually get it right for once. 
other than that, it's a good game. We're not jipping or anything, but it's a good no, game. No, we are jipping it. Uh, <laughs> you'll you'll hear a lot of profanity coming out at this game yeah. with things that piss me off yeah, or but, piss us but off. But generally, it's good. It's a good game. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> Can't count that, that word, ish. So anyway, yeah, we're going to embark on this Coke Creamer with Oldham Athletic. Um, it used to be the Premiership. Yes. In the Premiership years. Back in I'm the trying to day. think any players used to play for him. Lee Hughes used to play for him. That, was, West that, Brom. that wasn't in the Premiership years, though. Not, well, pff, I don't fucking I'm know. I'm sure there was <laughs> Ian Olney, I think. No I one's going to know who these people are. Um, there was Ian Ormondroid. He who, sounds like a knob. I'm sure he used to play in the Premiership with him. I can't think of anybody else. But yeah, so. I wouldn't what, even know to begin to start naming And Paul Dickoff was there, wasn't he? He's a manager. Is he still the manager now? now? Yeah. Still, is he? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, he is. Paul Dickoff is the manager. Easy? Right, okay. Anyway, so we're back. Not back, we're starting off the uh, <laughs> the career mode with Oldham Athletic. So let's have a look at a team straight off the bat. Dean Bulzanis. Obviously we've named quite a lot of these players already. We already know them. Yeah. I've just known that's Reese Wabara of Man City as well. Oh, from lo the Loney. The I get a the feeling that I'll just shout if it's true. It is as well. It is Reese Wabara. So you can, you can obviously tell we've got quite a good knowledge of football because we just picked some people out like that. Yeah, but people can just look at this and say, oh, they don't really know them. They're just trying to we, pretend, no, we do know these players. We're just Googling them. <laughs> no, no, no we, do, we do know these players. Yeah. We've played this game. We've played all the FIFA games. We know our shit. Yeah, we do. We like to think so. We're not being big-headed. We know our no, shit. No, we, we know our shit. We have a good knowledge of football. Right, okay, so let's start from the scratch. We've got Dean Buzanis. Dean Buzanis. I can't pronounce his name, but I know he's ex-Brighton. And you've got Alex Azak, who's... Totally better than him. Guarantee he's an acrobatic goalkeeper. He's a 63 and he is. Oh, he's not. He is a good player. He is, he a, is a very player. good goalkeeper. Good. So we have the centre back, Reese Wabara. He is definitely not a right back. We have a 53 of Connor Brown and. He's shit. The, uh, Carl Winchester. Winchester. A rather path my uh, Team Skirt. <laughs> team Skirt and Ash Kadu. Yeah, but his first name's Carl. Bidou Carl isn't a very. Winchester? Carl it's isn't a very popular. He should be called like like Theodore. Yeah. Theodore Winchester. So, anyway, this is what we got. we haven't got a good right back. Well, Bar is fine. Well, Bar is fine, but he can't cross. Cliff Burns a right back. So we have Cliff Burns. Who Holy is fuck, he is slow and really, really bad stamina. Yeah, he is shit. He's not. I don't even know class as a right back. He's come straight out of the team. Is he really old? No, he is just shit. So our centre backs back up. We have James Tarkowski. Tarkowski. Sure, should have been a monster zinc. That's Wazowski. <laughs> See, this is the sad part of me that knows this. And he's I in the team as well. Look, he's played. Mark, Mark Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Okay. Yeah. Mike okay. Wisklowski. We have a one-eyed green alien playing. Yeah, we team. have one-eyed green alien. Oh, what? Sully. The Where's Sully? Fuck? Anyone called Sully? No. Sully Montari. <laughs> no. If we can sign Sully Montari, then fair play to us. Sully Montari for Oldham. He's played for Inter. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so we've got James Tarkowski, Tarkowski, we have no one else. That's literally it, so we are... Oh my god, we've got shit We are going to have to buy a centre-back. Definite fact. I swear Jonathan Grounds is a centre-back. No, he's a left-back. Okay, you better give him a centre-back. He could, but he's pretty useful as a, as a left-back. Really? <laughs> Just really? Let's put him there for now, because he's got good strength, good stamina... And he can tap. Oh, he's very good. Yeah, he's a centre back. Jonathan Groud is going to centre back. So we need a left back, and we have none. So we're going to have to buy a left back. Left back, yeah, definitely on our list. CDM, we have. Yeah, it's Norwich, Lee, Lee, Lee Croft, but he's supposed to be playing right wing. And it's James, James Wasilowski, who is a pretty good he's average. on average. He's not too bad at all. We have no others, so for the minute, he's going to have to play. <laughs> Lee Croft's playing right wing. He's slow. He's old. He's only 27. Really? He's been around a long time. He's been he's been everywhere. He he's like played for Man City. I remember him playing for Man City. And we have Dean, Dean Furman. Furman. He's been there a while. Very good stamina. Long shots. He's a CAM. By an absolute mile. Can he even cross? And then we've got Christian Montano. Who I think is quick. Yeah, if I remember. Yeah. You used to play for West Ham? Yeah. Oh, he's on loan from West Ham. Oh, maybe. yeah. On loan. He's the left back. He's left wing, sorry. So, at the minute we've got Lee Croft. Do we have anybody else? I think right wing is probably the thing we're going to need. Yusuf Machangama. Yusuf Machangama. He's from the Comoros. <laughs> Twenty-one-year-old Comoros. I don't even know. I how think you pronounce the I think Comoros. It's Comoros. I don't know any players who come from the Comoros. We do now. We do now. If you don't know, that, if, if that ever comes up in a pub quiz, do you know anybody from the Comoros? 
There we go, mate. You, you pause the screen and write our name. Yusuf well, Umchangana. You're going to have to pause it because I'm going to forget his name as soon as he goes off it anyway. Yeah, that's true. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, so that's our midfield. So we're looking at a right winger, possibly, and a left no, back. No, no. There's no possibly. Lee Cross can't move. Right, okay. So we have Robbie Simpson. Who's shit. Put up front. And we have Matt Derbyshire. Right, he's a good player. Who is one of the best in the league. Order what? What the fuck have they done to his stats? Look at him. He used to be really good last year. Look, what the fuck he's have been, they done? He's been league, league one and eyes. He's league one and eyes. <laughs> he has been league Two fuckers. And then we have Matt Smith. Youngster, is he? Six, six foot six. six. He's useful. To he's a boost. And we have a 52 in Dan Taylor, who is pretty shit. Holy shit, look at our reserves. So basically, yeah, um, our reserves are pretty shite because none of them are over a 60. This is not looking good. At all. They're all under a 60. So basically, it look like, looks like we'll be selling a lot of players in this window. There's a lot of dog shit in our team. There is a lot of dog shit. There is a lot of turd that getting trampled on. Yeah. By us. Yeah. They need to be scraped off our shoes. So there it is. There's our team. We basically, our next video, will be looking for a whole new team. <laughs> <laughs> basically, a left, a left, no, a left back, a right winger, and some backup players. So if you know, and of, definitely a striker. Yeah, if you know of anybody who we old and we good to sign any lower league players who are cheap and good, then comment below and we'll have a look at them and see if we can fit them to our team or anyone who's actually quick any quick players any cheap quick players yeah. you know that we can sign in League 1 definitely need them because quick players and I don't care if they say they've changed it quick, uh, quick players still do really well yeah. in League 1 yeah, on they, this game so basically that's the first video our next video will be getting rid of all the shrapnel or the dog shit as we call the it the fun part of the yeah. game <laughs> and buying players learning players just basically building Oldham into that super Barcelona kind of team you're claiming Oldham to be the next Barcelona. The probability of that is probably minus 27.4. I would bet my house on it not happening, but then again, <laughs> stranger things have happened, I've got to say. We will get there. This is what this is all about. The mission. The dream. The, the dream. The dream. Anyway, Live in the dream. Yeah, this has been uh, Huds from Team Happy here. And this has been Shawnee. And we'll see you all later. Peace.